YouTubers! Aha! We here, baby. Final product. It's that boy C, the REI Capo, aka Cashflow Carlton, aka I Trap Houses. We here, baby. In the flesh. I'm in the flesh. What's going on, man? In today's video, why you need to buy these and not Dodge Hill Cats? Throw them Dodge Hill Cats for later. Save them for later. I'm gonna explain why. I'm gonna explain why. Let me, matter of fact, I'm gonna show you why you need to buy these. Value ads, birds, fixer uppers, rental properties. Check it out, man. We finally done. Do you like the front? Copper door, black trim. Space gray, front. Space gray. Yeah, we did our thing, man. Gigi picked out the paint. Everything new in here. So, if you buy like Dodge Hellcats, when you buy Dodge Hellcats, you buy depreciating assets. When you buy these, not only do they pay you monthly, but they appreciate. You make money while you sleep. Check out the beauty. GG in here. This the front. Shooting her video. We got a little dust. Don't mind our dust. This is the bathroom, my favorite area of the house. So yeah, this the front. The bathroom is looking amazing. Kitchen. Now a Dodge Hellcat ain't gonna appreciate, okay? A Dodge, let me say that again. A Dodge Hellcat is not gonna appreciate. Okay, uh, just to give you rough numbers, we bought this for 260. We put in about 30 ish. Now it's we've renovated it. The house was beat up. We added about 100k, over 100k in value. Yeah, this baby worth about 375. When you buy that Hellcat and you drive it off the lot. The moment you drive it off the lot, it goes choop. This, in five years, this baby gonna be worth maybe about 450. And I'm collecting monthly cash flow. It pays me monthly. Passive, I get paid while I'm asleep. Okay, so all my Hellcat boys, all my Charger boys, shout out to y'all, but this is the way to go. Okay? Okay. <laughs> we put everything, new appliances, New stove, backsplash did up, sink, everything new. Dishwasher, fridge. So yeah, man, that Hellcat. Now you could get the Hellcat. I'm not saying don't get the Hellcat. I'm not saying don't get the Hellcat. You can get the Hellcat. But you gotta get like, you need, before you get the Hellcat, I want you to have about 10 or 12 of these under your belt first. Mm-hmm. And each one of those little Monopoly houses, you know, when you play Monopoly, little greenhouses, each one of them need to be paying you at least 500 net. Check out the bathroom. Showstopper. Showstopper. <laughs> yeah, man, this place is beat up. Got the fire niche. We had to go with a new contractor, man. We had a new contractor and uh, it worked out. It worked out. New floors, baseboards, doors, new fans. So uh, we did our thing, man, me and Gigi. She's the designer. She the designer. Uh -huh. we, we, we wear multiple hats in this business. Like you can get into real estate, uh, especially if you start from ground zero. You gonna wear a lot of hats, man. We the, we the accountants. <laughs> we was at the trash, the city dump the other day. We the, we the trash man. Trash woman. Uh, we the acquisition managers. Fancy word for cold callers. Everything, man. We everything, but I love it. I won't want it no other way. Let me get out of her way. She's shooting a video. You see it? Who that? My office is Hey, buddy. What up, boy? Straight from the Bahamas, y'all. That hey, boy with the Bahamas. Another one for the books, baby. <laughs> I want some snap and some grunt. <laughs> Let me show you the bathroom. So this yeah, is the yeah, bathroom. that's a, that's a family in the Bahamas. But yeah, man, I'm I'm in love with the house. 
if you want to get into real estate, it's going to be the best decision you make in your life. Ten years ago, I made the best decision in my life. I stepped out on faith. I paid $300 for a real estate course. Do you think I 10x my money? <laughs> I paid 300 bucks for a course. I think I, I came up. Yeah. To get my realtor license. That's how I got my foot in the door. And see, everybody's path is different. You don't have to come in directly as a wholesaler. Start out as a realtor. Start out as the realtor. You know, when you get in in the game as a realtor, I think it's better that route. You know what I'm saying? I think it's better to go the realtor route first, then transition into investor. Why? When you a realtor, man, you're going to learn that this is a people business. It's about talk game. It's about relationships. It's about handshaking. You know? It's about business acumen. It's about skill and knowledge. And see, yeah, we from two different worlds, a traditional realtor versus what I do now full time for the last uh, six years. But the skills cross over. You're going to know what it is to work with a seller, seller appointment, a buyer. You need to learn how to run comps. Okay, I just told y'all the numbers. If I didn't know how to do comps, this deal would have never happened. Why? I would have overpaid and I would be making no money. Now, guess what? We bought this house in May. I got a six month seasoning period. So this month I could refinance. 70% LTV. You know I'm able to L uh, refi? Skill and knowledge, man. So them Hellcat, my Hellcat boys. Oh man, they doing some major work down there. My Hellcat boys, my youngsters, my cats is 20 to 30, 20 to 30. Listen to me. If I would have been buying these in my 20s, I'd probably be in the Bahamas <laughs> with my folks. I'd probably be in the Bahamas right now, on the island, sipping, eating conch salad. You dig? So another one for the books. Y'all be on the lookout. We're going to do another renovation. One last look. One last gander, man. I love that freaking paint. Let me zoom it in. I love the paint, man. That door pops. Oh, yeah, baby. We got another renovation. Uh, we tired. We need a break. So give us about probably first week of December. You're going to see the kid back on here knocking out another one of these. I ain't bought a Hellcat yet. I'm going to get I'm gonna get my little bit. Don't worry. I'm going to get my toy, but I got to go first. These are the, This is priority. Assets over liabilities. That, hell, that Hellcat flashy and it's loud and the girls love it. Dudes hate on it, but guess what? I got a, I got a financial goal and see, in our community, we don't set financial goals, man. This gonna pay for the Hellcat. Yeah. I'm gonna come be net, net, net zero out my pocket. So that's it, man. Hope y'all motivated. If you're new to my channel, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, I'm out. Peace.